All right, folks, welcome back to my automotive electrical testing mini series. We're going to be going over everything that you would need to properly do your automotive testing, anything from multimeters to power probes, battery maintainers, scan tools, and everything in between. In the last video, we touched on multimeters and really the conclusion of that video is that the meter itself isn't that critical most meters can do the voltage and continuity testing that you're going to need the main thing when it comes to testing with a meter on your vehicle is going to be the accessories that are going to really bring it value something that you should be investing early in on is banana jack style extensions and accessories now these extensions can plug directly into your meter and then directly into your accessory. This means that you're gonna maintain good contact, but you're also going to be able to invest in a lot of different accessories without having to pay the extra price of a bunch of different cables. And this is gonna allow your test setup to be really versatile, versatile, which is what we're gonna want across all makes and models. So you can see that I have these banana style, you know, back probes. I have different size uh, alligator clamps for maybe different size battery terminals or things like that. I also have these wire probes that will penetrate the sheath of the wire itself. Something really handy. You're gonna learn that if you try to just do your automotive testing with these just probes that come with your meter, you're not gonna be having a good time. One main thing that I wanna touch on, uh, I have a kit here. Now the closest I could find on Amazon, I linked it down in my store down below. This is from a site called AES Wave. Now they're priced for professional automotive electrical testing. So you're gonna notice it's a little pricey. So I put the best equivalent I could down in my store. It's priced a lot better, but I would look at investing in a kit like this a lot earlier on than I did. And I just wanna show you mine briefly. I've had it for years and it's been so good to me. The main benefit to a kit like this, yes, it has these little accessories that you can get you know, on Amazon for a couple bucks. These aren't really that important. What's important, that we're looking at is on this side of the house. And what you have over here is basically every size pin terminal for any connector across all makes and models, male and female. Now a kit like this is gonna set you back a little bit. This is for professional, you know, independent electrical testing use, but something like that's gonna make your life a whole lot easier and I would really consider looking into it. Another thing that I would consider looking into as well, that'll be handy for your multimeter to go alongside it, is these magnetic test leads. It's basically a 30 foot extension cord that just pulls out and winds up super easily. These are really great for if you're doing uh, component testing and you need a 12 volt source and you find that the battery is always on the other end of the car that you need, say you're doing testing under the hood and the battery's in the trunk or vice versa and you don't always have access immediate access to battery terminals something like this can help provide a 12 volt source at where you're testing you know sometimes if we're you know doing like a door modules testing like that something deep inside the dash we want 12 volts readily available with a good power and a good ground something like this can also be really handy and i would consider adding it to your you know eventually you're going to have a small array of accessories that are specific to just your meat so after you get your meter sorted out, you're going to want to start looking into accessories because that's what's going to really add to the value of your meter and what it can bring when you're doing your testing. Hope that makes sense. Hope that helps. Catch you on the next one.